What's up, Romario? How are you? Hello, I'm good. How are you? I'm good, thank you. What have you been up to? How have you and Angelo been keeping busy? Uh, nothing much. Just trying to do as much as we can. Work, working out with Angelo. You know, Angelo likes to to stay fit. So right now he's basically forcing me to do stuff sometimes with him. I mean, which is going to be really good for me. And also like trying to read and and cook different stuff whenever I can. So it's been okay. Angelo loves to share his hobbies on his social media, his workouts, but also his stock market changes. Have you picked up any new hobbies during this time? Yeah, I think the new thing that I do now is like that I read. I, I never like it a lot. And people used to tell me all the time that like, you should read, like you have so much like free time. And I was like, no, I was too lazy, but I actually like it. You know, it's always a lot of inter interesting stuff out there and it's nice to learn new things. That's awesome. And you've been keeping busy as well with the Zoom workouts with the team. How have they been? They've been good. It's always good to, to stay fit and try to maintain what we started like a month ago. So that's definitely going to help. Also, I'm trying to do stuff on my own, like go for runs to do a little bit more. So that's helping us a lot. And just keeping that team chemistry. Speaking of which, whenever I interview anyone, your name seems to always come up as a bit of a prankster of the team, the funniest on the team. Who is your favorite person to joke around with or prank, whether it's on or off the pitch? I mean, I'm always around AJ, Kyle, and Leland. And I, I, I never prank. It's more about the stuff I say about people. I think that's why everybody thinks I'm funny and I say funny stuff all the time. And you also, you know, being bilingual, you can speak to the Spanish guys on the team and the English. That must also really work to your advantage as well. Yeah, yeah, it works. <laughs> it definitely works. You came over here from Panama. What was that like for you? I know you could speak, you know, you studied English in Panama, but then obviously coming over here to study in college and to play soccer, that was a big step. Was it difficult for you with that transition? Yeah, my first semester was really, really hard because I had an idea of English and everything because I went to a bilingual school in Panama. But when I came here straight to classes, I couldn't understand a world because people speak like too fast. So I was like completely lost. I used to get, I used to catch like one or two words and I used to assume the rest of the sentence. So that's, that's how I worked my first semester here. That must have been so tricky. But now obviously, you know, you're so fluent in both languages. When you watch TV or you're watching new box sets or even reading, do you read in both and watch TV in both? Or do you, do you prefer to read in Spanish still? Yeah, I, I whenever I watch a, a show, I mean, if it's Spanish, I watch it in Spanish. But if it's in English, I watch it in English with English subtitles because I don't like the voiceover in the in the shows. I don't like that. So I'd rather read than than feel like we're like looking at the mouth of people like that sounds different. What have you been watching lately? Is there anything that you've just started or finishing? Yeah, I finished Money Heist real quick because I love it. I finished it like in two days. And I started also a couple of days ago another one called Toy Boy and a Spanish show too, and I finished it yesterday, so I've been watching a lot of shows lately. Have you watched Tiger King? That's been all the talk lately. Have you, have you seen it? Yeah, I've seen it. I watched it too because it was interesting to me. I started, when I started, I thought I wasn't gonna like it, but then I just kept going and I finished it like in two days. It, would, it, it has a little bit of everything. It was funny, it was weird sometimes, but. I, I, I finish it. And have you seen um, Jared as Tiger King on the battery Instagram? Yeah, that one was really funny. I, I think Nico sent it to our group chat and I was laughing a lot because I, I was like, oh my God, what is this? <laughs> well, now everybody, you know, is so busy social distancing. Your family's still back in Panama. They were hoping to come to the States this summer to watch you play. How are they doing? They're doing great. They're all healthy. And unfortunately now I don't know if they, they're gonna be able to come, especially my dad. I wanted my dad to come because 
My dad played for so long, professional, national team. He was the captain and all that. And he was never like in my games because he never wanted to be involved with my with my career. He just let me like do it myself. So now I was really excited for him to come here and see me like playing internationally for the first time. And I mean, I don't know what's gonna happen. So I hope everything gets like back to normal and they they were they're able to come. Well, your dad played for Panama, but you have also played for Panama. Was he able to watch you when you were representing your country? Yeah, yeah. He, he's actually in the World Cup qualifier. He's a commentator for like soccer games in Panama. So the game we qualified, he was commentating that game. Wow. So it was, yeah, so it was like really, really excited. And people like sent me a lot of pictures of my dad, like celebrating the goals when we qualify and everything. So it was really nice. That is fantastic. Just when you think something, you know, of that magnitude, a moment like that can't get any bigger than to have your dad commentate it as well. That must have been so special for you. You have such a big following over in Panama that even follows your journey here at the Battery. How nice is it, you know, to have that sort of reception? Yeah, it's really nice, especially like when players from Panama they go go out and play internationally like they they follow a lot uh, like the media is always like asking how everything is going like what are the changes after the season they ask you if you're gonna stay here or go back home so they 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 follow a lot and they support a lot of the Panamanian players that are playing abroad you were able to go home for christmas this past year what is always your favorite thing about being back in panama Oh, my, my grandma's food. <laughs> whenever, whenever I go back, or some, most of the times I don't tell her I'm, I'm going back, but when she oh. realizes, she starts like, cooking a lot of stuff for me when I'm there. So that's, the, that's what I miss the most. What does she make for you? What is your number one meal that she, that she does for you? She makes this, this fish. It's like fried fish with plantains. It's really, really good. She also made this rice, rice pudding. It does the best. So she makes like a lot of rice pudding. When I get there and before I leave, she, she, makes, she makes it again. That is so nice. But then you said that your cooking has kind of changed since you've been in the States. In Panama, you used to fry a lot of stuff. And now, you know, you're starting to really try and bake as much as possible. Yeah, yeah. I don't, it probably is part of our culture, like eating like baked stuff, even though you you prepare it in different ways, but it's always like something fried. And now I'm trying to to bake my food and I'm also adding adding veggies to my to my meals, which is not normal for me. <laughs> because I will I will eat veggies if they are there, but I will never like prepare veggies to eat. So Yeah, you're not gonna go out of your way to cook the veggies, but if they were exactly. there you would eat them. Exactly. <laughs> what's one of your favorite American foods if you're in Panama and you're like I cannot wait to get back and have something the American is there anything that stands out to you honestly my favorite food used to be pizza but it but not anymore because when I came here I realized pizza is like something people eat like almost every day all the time and back in Panama, we would eat pizza whenever like my mom was tired or something. And she would be like, oh, I don't want to cook today. Let's get pizza. And that was like once a month or something. Right. But here is so often that I got tired of it already. I could imagine that. Pizza is definitely one of the most popular dishes here. What are you most yeah. looking forward to? Obviously, you know, everyone's looking forward to seeing the team back out on the pitch. But is there anything in particular that you're looking forward to when things start to reopen again? Yeah, I just hope everything gets back to normal and we can have a good season or rest of the season or whatever is going to happen. And I really, I really want to go back and play because, you know, being, being here without doing anything is like killing me. So I hope we can get back soon. Me too. And I hope your family is able to come out and watch you play when we get back underway. Romario, thank you so much for joining us. Stay healthy, stay safe. We look forward to catching up with you again soon. You're welcome, you too.